today I want to talk about the uh, uh, CFD simulation and MRI measurement of interocecal cerebrospinal fluid in a cyanomalagus monkey. The cerebrospinal fluid is a fluid around the brain and the spinal cord that has a back and forth motion due to the respiration and the arteries located into the cervical spine. Uh, since the cerebrospinal fluid is in contact with the central nervous system, so it could be used as a bypass uh, for drug delivery to the brain in a specific disease like ALS, Alzheimer, or maybe hydrocephalus. But we need to optimize the drug delivery to the brain for the, each case. So, uh, as you know, performing experiments on a human are ethically difficult and very expensive, so we need to find a replacement for the human. Uh, we characterized geometrical and hydrodynamic properties of different animals like pigs, cows, dogs, and monkeys in every detail like perimeter, area, hydraulic diameter, and the Reynolds number, and we found that the best option would be the cyanomalagus monkey. But still facilities for these kind of experiments are very limited and very expensive. So the best option would be creating a CSF simulator that can uh, optimize the drug delivery to the brain. So we can use that. But uh, the first step for a CFT simulation is to generating, generating a computational mesh. So we post-process the MRI image. We get to get the solid geometry of the cerebrospinal fluid. We use the ANSYS ICM software to generate the computational mesh. So you can see the location of the spinal cord and the DORA. DORA is a tissue around the cerebrospinal fluid and the spinal cord. And we used a specific technique named dynamic mesh motion to deform the DORA at each vertebral level to get the exact flow rate uh, along the spine. So the aim of this project is to reproduce the non-uniform flow rate along the spine. So you can see the non-uniform non flow rate over there. Uh, at the end of the day, we want to optimize this geometry and this project for a human by adding the small anatomical structures and like nerve roots, arachnid trabecula, and every single result from this project is supposed to be translated for a, uh, for a human. So it, it means that if we make a simple mistake in our CFT simulation, we might uh, cause a death in a patient. So, we want to have the most accurate. So for this reason, we check the validation and verification. We check the independency of our results from the mesh and time step size. And we also validated our CFD model with the uh, MRI measurements, which gave us the error of less than 2%. That makes our CFD model the most accurate CFD model in the world so far. So in the future, we want to develop this model, the non-uniform deforming mesh for a human. And every single result will be translated for the human. Uh, we are here to push the science forward in a most accurate and trustable way. Thank you.